Hey, what's up, everybody? We are looking at an article on coinnews.net, and the penny is extremely expensive to produce, as is the nickel. I have been stacking them copper cents, and I've been stacking a little bit of them, them nickels for face value for a little while now, just hoarding the nickels and hoarding the copper cents, the leaking copper cents, and I have a little bit of 2020 Lincoln cents as well. Um, so while we are showing off our curves, we are taking a look at how much it is costing the United States Mint to produce the Lincoln cent and the Jefferson nickel. And I keep asking, why are they still producing them? Losing money. If a business decide that they are losing money on something, I think the business would go in a different direction, but not our government. Our government likes to waste money. Yes, indeed. A penny costs 1.76 cents to make in 2020, and a nickel cost 7.42 cents, both well over their face value. Mint realizes 549.9 million in seniorage. Crazy. And then here we look, we're looking at some Lincoln cents, them very expensive to produce Lincoln cents. Last year, U.S. Mint spent 1.76 cents to make and distribute each Lincoln cent. The mint's cost for each Jefferson nickel was 7.42 cents, which I believe we just read a little bit above. The cost for manufacturing U.S. coins for circulation decreased last year. Decreased. So the prior year, so what that means is since it decreased, the prior year cost a lot more to produce than it did in 2020, but they still lost money. Makes plenty of sense to me. Excluding the dime, which remained unchanged, the United States Mint disclosed in its 2020 annual report. Notably, however, the unit cost for both cents and nickels was above their face value for a 15th year in a row. So, not only did they lose money in 2020 for producing these coins, and they lost money in 2019 for producing these coins, and I'm pretty sure they will lose money in 2021 for producing these coins, but they have lost money for 15 years in a row. To any business owner out there, if you own a business and you've been losing money year after year, would you think that it is time to go a different direction because you cannot keep on losing money? I believe so. Anyway, we move on. FY, I believe that it means fiscal year. In fiscal year 2020, the toll to make, administer, and distribute the one cent coin retreated to 1.76 cents from 1.99 cents while the cost for the five cent coin eased eased to 7.42 cents from 7.62 cents so hey i guess they were they are looking at it as they are since they're not losing as much money maybe they're looking at it as they are making money i don't know what they are thinking about but it is time to at least, if not time to get rid of the Jefferson, it is time to at least get rid of the Lincoln set. How about we stop wasting money? Sounds good to me. Lower prices for copper and zinc helped in keeping costs down, although nickel prices did increase. And we did talk about that a little bit in 2020, why I am hoarding some Jefferson nickels because the nickel price has increased um, and I think at some point the United States Mint or our government is going to have to wise up and just not waste as much money. Lincoln cents have a composition of 2.5% copper with a balanced zinc. 
Five cent coins are minted in 25% nickel with a balanced copper. Dimes and quarters are each composed in 8.33% nickel and their balanced copper. Cost to make dimes and quarters. Unlike cents and nickels, the U.S. Mint turned a profit with dimes and quarters because the cost of making them was lower than their face value. So dimes and nickels, not bad. They are lower than their face value, unlike the Lincoln cent and the Jefferson nickel, which is higher than their face value. I'm kind of reading this in like as if a child would understand, just in case anybody from our government is listening. In fiscal year 2020, the unit cost for the quarters decreased to 8.62 cents from 9.01 cents, while the dimes unit cost was unchanged at 3.73 cents. So those are pretty much well below their face value. Actually, quite a bit below their face value. The following two tables summarizes U.S. mint cost for the cent through quarter in fiscal year 2019 and 2020. 2020 unit cost to produce and distribute 1 cent, 5 cent, 10 cent, and 25 cent coins. So here we have these, these tables. Here's the 2020 unit cost to produce and distribute 1 cent, 5 cent, 10 cent, and 25 cent coins. And then 2019 unit cost to produce and distribute 1 cent, 5 cent, 10 cent, and 25 cent coins. And it shows here cost of goods sold, sales, general and administrative, distribution to reserve banks, and then you have the cost, and then you have the total unit cost. So incredible. In profit from seniorage, the difference between the face value and cost of producing circulating coins, the dime in fiscal year 2020 realized 107.6 million, while the quarter brought 476.3 million. The U.S. Mint transfer seniorage to the Treasury General Fund to help finance national debt. Well, you're not doing a very good job. You're not doing a very good job at financing, at taking care of the national debt. And you're not doing a very good job at saving money as it relates to producing the Lincoln cent and the Jefferson nickel. So maybe it is time to just stop doing that. In contrast, the two smallest U.S. coins have lost money since 2006. Let that sink in. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Appreciate everybody for watching. Are you stacking? Are you hoarding the copper, the Lincoln cents, and the Jefferson Nichols. I myself am hoarding the copper Lincoln cents and I have a fair amount of Jefferson Nichols. Let me know what you guys think in that comment section below. I'm not going to read the rest of this. If you want to check out this article and read the rest of it or just reread the rest of it, all of it, I will post a link to this in the description box below. This comes once again from coinnews.net. Thanks everybody for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I will talk to everybody on my next video. Thanks a lot everyone.